So hi, folks. Welcome to another edition of Jason Mariner. It's only a game. We're great to be back. And I'm here with the legend. There he is, the legend. He's in the swimming pool. Has the swimming pool been named after you, Jason? Well, you didn't think I was in an aeroplane, did you? I'm in a swimming pool. I mean, it's the same swimming pool that you've seen me in many a times, Liam. No. And why on earth would they want to name a swimming pool after me? I'm not the only guy that gets in there, you know? <laughs> That's our first beat of the day. It's all good. Oh, yeah. Sorry, mate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, what about the old uh, Caribou Cup? I know you like to call it. That's no, called the League Cup, Liam. Stop getting it twisted. It's the League Cup. <laughs> Listen, no, 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 because, Liam, it gets, it gets on my nerves, even though we've lost it, right? Yeah. It still gets on my nerves, because let me tell you, it's a massive cup. I don't care what anyone tells you. Mm -hmm. right? All these eyes are two Bob Cup. When, you was, when we was uh, uh, growing up, you won the you either won the league, won the FA Cup, or won the League Cup, and people have only, you know, give it a lesser name if you want, since they give it stupid names like the Carabao Cup. So that, that's the first and last time that name will come out of my mouth. It's the League Cup, mate, because the tickets go to real diehard supporters, whatever club, whatever club. Yeah, no, but, that is know, very look, true. Footballing, footballing wise, it could have gone either way. It's as simple as that. But forget that. Let's let's get let's go on to something that's more important, like yes. the Mickey's booing the national anthem again. As oh, usual. Yeah, what did you think? Oh, Glim, don't ask me stupid questions. What a ridiculous question to ask me. What do you think I thought? Oh well, I'm gonna have a party about it, and I I think it's disgusting, mate. That's what I think. Yeah. It's disgusting. It... If you ain't got anything nice to say, don't say anything. Yeah, they've been like doing it, it for don't, years don't now, it, now. Don't sing it. Yeah. Listen, I expect the Irish, the Germans, the, the, the Dutch, whoever, mm -hmm. to, to boo it. But you're alleged, you're alleged so cool. But then again, they're not English, are they, apparently? Yeah, they uh, they want to be a bit separate, don't they? So, uh, But were you disappointed in the team? Did you think they played well, Chelsea? Right, let, let me get one thing straight to you as well. You know they go on about the kids with Liverpool? Mm -hmm. Our age group is younger, is younger. Mm hmm Right? Yeah. And all that about, oh, you could, well, you bought the league before you bought the proofs in the pudding, mate. Ain't bought anything. You can't, you can spend 100 mil on a player. Doesn't guarantee you one single thing. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, we should have put them to bed early doors. It's mm -hmm. as simple as that. We had some good chances. Simple as that. And I'll tell you, some of them players have got it in their locker, mate. And, I, I, and I've got, I'll give them two years. I might have to give up, might have to stretch that to another year. But I said that at the start of the season. I said they need a good couple of years. Well, I didn't. I said they need two years. I, I now say they might need a good couple of years. They might need another another year or so. Do you know what I mean? But listen, they've got it in the locker, mate. It's, you know. Yeah, and, and, and by the way, you know, all this about, oh, their kids at Liverpool and their kids, but their kids at Chelsea. But let me tell you, they've all signed professional contracts at Liverpool. And if they're playing with Liverpool, mate, they're not pony. They're not pony. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Simple. Uh did, did, did they had a goal disallowed, didn't they, Chelsea? Yeah, I mean, listen, there's a fucking toe now involved, but look, it swings in roundabouts, doesn't it? But look, we've never been a VAR, we've never been a VAR supporter, have we? No, you know, no. you're, only a, you're only a VAR supporter when it goes in your favour, isn't it? Let's, let's be honest. I thought it was going to be a good oh. idea, VAR, but, but I, I have to say, it's not kind of no, worth I never, it. No, right? I've, no, I've never, I've never, I've never, that, that's because you've got 38 teams, so I mean, one of your teams will win. With a VAR system, but I've never been a fan of it. I'm just a, just stop changing the game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, what's the new thing with cards? Have they got a different colour card now? Is it like blue? No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. No. Not yet. But I mean, it's just prophetic. The blue card is is the, if they give you a blue card, it's a sim bin for ten minutes and whatever. Just slows the game down, doesn't it? Like. You know, you got you got to defend now for ten minutes before the player comes back on. And all. just what, what are you doing? What you're just ruining our game, aren't you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just ruining our game, Mongols. They're just Mongols, Liam. No, I, I agree with you about having the real supporters because they're able to get the tickets for the for the League Cup, aren't they? Which is good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Which is. Fantastic. I'd like to give Shane. I'd like to give Shane a, a, a big shout out. Um, he got in touch with me and and said that he's obviously I wasn't in the UK, so he said, you know. You know, would Icky like it and what have you? So, so folks, uh, we just crashed the computer crash, and we're now moving forward in time to two days later, and you're still in the pool. So, Jason, you've been waiting in the pool for two days for us to catch up. That's dedication. 
Yeah, well, I've got nothing else to do, Liam, you know what I mean? So, as a matter of fact, I've been on the piss, I've had an hangover and I'm back in the game. So, it's all good, mate. But, look, these things, as I said to you, look, these things happen, mate. We're 6,000 miles away and um, I think it's the first time it's happened, Liam, isn't it, to be honest, yeah. mate? So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the computer just crashed, but we're back. So now, and now we can catch up. We were talking about the uh, Chelsea Liverpool League Cup uh, game, uh, but now yeah. they're no longer the Caribou. We can't mention that. We can't mention it. Um, but but Chelsea... you did. But you did. You couldn't help yourself. You did. <laughs> but Chelsea played another game. They played against Leeds. What did you reckon? Last minute goal. I told you. I went on the piss. God. I mean, it's three o'clock in the morning over here, and let me tell you. I don't think I got into a four or so. I don't know. I went out at four in the afternoon. Yeah. I think I got in at four in the morning. And I tried to watch it. And I, and I think I'll spark out by the end of it. So, he said, listen, mate, I'm not being rude, but them days are gone. Well, I'm living my life around a football match. You know what I mean? It's uh -huh. them days are gone. So, yeah, uh, but... obviously, obviously, I'm, I mean, I tr uh, I've, I've seen the highlights, but that's all I have seen. So, I don't know. But it's funny because I've just done a thing on me, on me, TikTok and me Instagram, just about like you know, fair play to the black, uh, the the Geordies, the Newcastle supporters. You know, look, the FA Cup should be a Saturday, Liam. That's that's, that's oh, the bottom line, right? Uh, you know, you can dislike other teams on this Saturday, blah, blah blah. Do you know what I mean? You know, and you obviously you want your team to win and what have you. Seven thousand Geordies go down to Black Blackburn on a on a on a Tuesday night. Seven thousand leads, you know, I'm sort of give or take, you know, either way, and you know, come down to Chelsea on a on a on a Wednesday night or whatever. You know, I had a lead support because I put something up before, and he's he sort of inboxed me and that, and he said, uh, he said, you know what, Jason? He said, I promised that if we get Chelsea, I promised my kids to take him to Chelsea. You know, so I said, you know, I said, I'm oh, fair play, and he said. Uh, he said, but, you know, I've got to take the kid out of school. I've got to have two days off of work and blah, blah, blah. You know, fair play. And he's promised his kid. He can't, he can't you know, start letting his kid down, is he? Do you know what I mean? And anyway, you know, thing. But also they, they, they tell me as well that it was like um, 220 quid or something. With, with, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's just just mental, isn't it? It's just mental. You yeah, know? He's mad. But I, I do agree with you. I think, you know, Saturday for the FA Cup, I, I, I was really surprised it was on a, on a Wednesday or whatever it was. Well, you know, why? Why, well, you know... The, the money, money, television, te te television, money. Yeah. So people like you devalue the, the FA Cup by calling it something else. That's what you was just about to say, devalue it. You know I mean? remember. But yeah, no, it's just a liberty. It's just a liberty, Lynn. Whoever you support, whoever, whatever team you come, you know, and it's just... Yeah. Uh, that's that's the way that's I'm the way we're going. Man, mate. I'm old enough to remember the Saturdays when the whole FA Cup thing was a big deal, and the the you know the FA Cup final. No, 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 no. It's at Liam. You're missing it. Well, it still is. I've yeah. just told you seven thousand Geordies went down. On the yes. geezer just took his son down, took his son out of school, missed two days off of work. So the clues there, Liam. You know what I mean? It still is a big thing. It's yeah. only the it's only the Mongols yes. that run the things yeah. that, that that you know that, that obviously don't care, but they don't care, do they? They're, they're not worried. They're not diehard supporters, are they? No, you know what I mean. So we had a bit of a thing last week, uh, where, where the week before, uh, we had a poll, didn't we? And of course, we can't really go into the subject again too much, but it does seem that people. I, I can't. I can't remember it. What we had one, me and you. Yeah, where we uh, were they supporting you over your view on Kate Garraway? Do you remember? Did we? Yeah, we had a poll at the at the end. That you said if people um, agree with Jason, you know, we can't. We, we, we're quite restricted on what we can talk about with that. But the right, they, yeah, okay, fuck. I've lost the poll. Yeah, go on, mate. Yeah, yeah so obviously uh, they, I won then. Obviously won. I won. You won by a mile. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Right. I don't think I got a vote. My supporters are the best. Thank you very much. I love every single one of you. Thank you very much. Thank. That pleases me no end. Yeah. <laughs> I was slaughtered. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, it's all come back to me now that we won. It's all come back to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we, we, I had to heavily edit what was being put out because, you know, there were restrictions. Oh, no, yeah. So it has come back a little bit, Liam. I'm, oh, yeah. Well, listen, we have to do that. On, on, listen. We're lucky we've even got a channel, mate. I was we're not allowed to talk about, but you're not allowed to talk about anything or anything, no. Liam, are you? Anybody anymore? No, it's no, ridiculous, no. isn't it? No, we we have to, you know, 
it would be great to actually be able to do a program where we really, really said what we meant. You know what I mean? But oh, you... well, well, our, our, view, our viewers would go through the roof, mate. But we, we just can't can't happen. No, you know. I just done one there, on, like I said about the football and what have you. And then I then and then I went um, uh, about the. Oh, I just mentioned him that that. That Garrett, funny enough, sounds like a Garrett away or whatever. I went, we won't mention him, and then that was it, and then I just left it at that, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? It's mad. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, your mate. Um, is it your mate Kevin Lane? Yeah, he's on a recall, yeah. He's in yeah, right. So if anyone, it's, if anyone wants to write to him, he's in HMP Elmley. Right. Uh, Any reason? Uh, whack in the fridge seat. Do, do you know any Sorry, reason? Why, why, why was he recalled? I've heard lots of different. Like, I haven't spoke to Kev myself, so I'm not going to, you know, I'm not right. going to speculate because yeah. there's all, you know. But look, what I can tell you, what yeah. I can tell you is it will be nothing. See, what people don't know, well, I don't know a lot of people, I would imagine a lot of my viewers do, a lot of our viewers, I do know and lot that don't know. But see that probation, mate, they're, 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 they're the ones that hold the key to the door. Yeah. Forget all the rest, even when you're in the shovel, even when you're in. Even when you're in uh in in the nick and that, right? You know, I've had I've had, I had a screw come up to me. It is a little story, boy. Yeah. And, and sorry, I went I went to the probation and I've done a referee's course, right? And passed it, just like let you know that, right? <laughs> and 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 the, and the prison officer, prison probation, got the ump at the ump, mate. Right? Well, said so I think um. You know, I think we need to have a little chat about this, you know, because you're in here, you know, I was for football fans. I said, well, first of all, I said, I've got a, an appeal outstanding, mm -hmm. right? I said, so we won't be talking about my case because I've got an appeal outstanding. Yes. I said, second of all, I said, second of all, I said, so you're telling me I've done a referee's course and that could coincides with my, you know, my, my, Charges and this, that, and the other. Well, you know, it, it might have an adverse effect and this, that, and the other. But I said, I need looking at a sport from a different angle and blah, blah, blah. And we waffled on this, that, and the other. So I said, So if you're in here for for full argument's sake, like, you can't do a computer call. So not if I thought it was going to further their criminality. I said, Well, that's obvious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Come on. I mean, you know, ain't rocket science. Don't need to be a probation officer to work that out. I said, Well, I said, to be honest with you, I said, I've just seen, I said, uh, someone in the gym, I don't think they should be there. He said, who? I said, uh, Mr. Khan. I said, Mr. Khan, I don't think he, she said, well, who's Mr. Khan? So I said, well, I can't, can't let you know, but Mr. Khan shouldn't be in the gym. So she said, why is that then? So I said, well, I said, I'll just see him on the, on, on the machine. I said, and he was, he was pulling down 50 key. She said, yeah. I said, well, he's in for importation of drugs. I said, and he moved 50K, when he, 50K of cocaine when he was outside. I said, so it's the same thing, isn't it? 50K, 50K. She said, no, you're being prophetic. I said, no, you are. See you later. And walked away. And spoke to her for 18 months. And right. spoke to her for 18 been, 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 right? And that's, you know, um, I mean, most people laugh when I tell that story. Liam, you obviously didn't find it funny. but <laughs> it's beautiful. The timing was beautiful. It was it was the funniest story we've had. But <laughs> 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 no, but you know, I was being, I was being, I was being, obviously, I was being, you know, I was picking holes and being yeah. ridiculous. But so I thought she was being ridiculous. Yes. But then, mate, they are the absolute dog. Let me tell you, they are honestly, they're all the up. They all watch the BBC. Let me tell you that now. Yeah. Get rid of Let your license, you. folks. Get rid of your license. That's what I say. They haven't got any. I'm, all kind of people ain't got any. It's just, you know, <laughs> get rid of your license and watch as much telly as you want. <laughs> oh, we can't, you know. We can't <laughs> say that on here. We, 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 you know, we can't. Would it be? I know. I'm speculating. I mean, Kevin, he, he's he's had a lot of um, he's been out on a lot of podcasts. But you know, they were putting on a, a, an actual theatre show for him to be on in. Uh, well, that's one of that's one of the rumours. But you know what? So what? He's not glamorising anything. No, he's not. A, but what they don't like is, which I know because obviously I've done the circuit with the after dinners and what have you. Yeah. But they don't like you earning money out of it. And to be truthful, I don't think he was even earning money out of it. I mean, no. you know, he's he's more concentration on, on his, you know, he's always been a bit of a getter. Yes. He's always been a bit of a... a I didn't a, understand a that. I didn't understand that show because originally they had Kenny Noy was supposed to be... They didn't, no chance, no chance. No for chance. Kenny. He's, he's on the L plates. He's on the L plates. Yeah. He's, on, he's a lifer. But no chance of him going on there. But, but surely but they'd, look, know they'd, that. they'd know that. They'd know that, that he can't go and do that. Well, look, in fairness to them, yeah. 
they don't know it. It's new to them, Liam. You yeah. know what I mean? Look, yeah. I've done the circuit. And they, there's nothing they can do about it. If I do the circuit again, there's nothing they can do about it. I'm yeah. not under the spell of the of yes. the probation of the, this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. I'm a free man now. Yeah. But until yeah. you're a free man, mate, you and let me tell you, them, honestly, mate, they're dogs. They're dogs. They're, they're yeah. probate, honestly, don't I care remember, what you uh, tell me. I hope it don't backfire on me one day, but let me tell you, it could do. But I'm only speaking the truth. They're, they're horrible, horrible. You know, you. Who's who's the fella? I his, his name escapes me at the moment. Who who shot the policeman years ago? A couple of policemen. Uh, uh, they chant his name on the. Uh, <laughs> no, them days are gone, mate. They haven't chanted his name on the terraces. But, oh, mate, you just done me. You kept right out of the blue. Um, oh. Do you know the funny? Do you know the funny thing is when he done the third one, he done the he done the third one as well. He went, he went. Yeah, but I only clipped him on the third one. You know, on the third one, he only clipped him. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, it'll, mate, it'll come to us. my head now. Yeah, it'll oh. come to. Well, anyway, I met him. I met him through um, uh, the Bronson family. Uh, and yeah. uh, only briefly, because I thought, I, I, I want to get an interview with this guy. And Harry course, Roberts, Harry that's Roberts. That's the one, that is the one. Uh, and, and of course, he, uh, you know, he couldn't, he, you know, the slightest interview or anything that he did, he'd be immediately, yeah. you know, so it, yeah. interesting bloke, look, you know, perfectly charming. He took a yeah. photo. I mean, I ain't being funny. Harry, Harry must be, I don't know, he's like 80 something now, or do you know what I mean? Or, <laughs> you know. He certainly still got it because he he uh, he took a fancy to a vet. There's no doubt about it on the day. Well, she's a good looking lady. You're very good looking. You're a very lucky man, Liam. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm right. just trying to get some brownie points, a vet, a vet, a vet. I'm trying to get yeah. some brownie points. Yeah, oh, lovely. she's lovely, a vet. Yeah, Stan Bowles passed away, which was terrible. A... Uh, I, I mean, ter listen, look, you know, you know, the words used so much power, but um. I, I've met him quite a few times. Not overly. I didn't know him exceptionally well, but he was a, he was a good friend of me of my dad's. Right. So uh, uh, that's that, that's the only reason. But, you know, I think, you know, as he got older anyway, he was no stranger to the to the lighthouse shop and and, 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 and the book is, shall we say, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but no, it, it's a shame. Another one, it's a shame really, Liam, because um, he wound up like, not having a few quid in the bank, yeah. let's put it that way. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's, it's a shame. It's a shame. Great footballer. Yeah. I thought he was fantastic. What a great yeah. footballer. Yeah. So yeah. Sad, sadly missed. Um, now, uh, we, we were talking the other day um, about the fact that we were we were missing Dave, weren't we, the other day? And, and, and you know, you don't forget... Well, no, you know, look, 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 it's a bit like anyone, uh, Liam, you know, like, I've, uh, you know, because I've obviously no, no, a lot of, lot of people and I've been... I've, 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 nah. I'm afraid to say I've been to an awful lot of funerals and, mm. and I get good and bad. You know, I've got a really, really close, you know, and I would have called him one of my best pals, Colin Barrett, and I miss him immensely. I miss him absolutely immensely. You know, I mean, his birthday's on Boxing Day. He used to have Christmas Day around his house when I was in the UK. But, you know, nine times out of ten, blah, blah, blah. We was very close. This, this man would, I mean, a fantastic kickboxer, Colin. Yeah. Uh, very well respected. A lot, a lot of people knew him, right? He's brilliant. Well, punch, I'd call him, you know what I mean? Because he's all punch drunk and whatever. I mean, one game, but you know, I mean, let me tell you, I wouldn't hear from him for two days, and he'd phone me nine times in one day. I mean, you know what I mean, nine times, and he would phone me up. And then, if the football was all thing and this, that, and that, and he'd phone me up at like mm -hmm. six o'clock in the morning because he was an early wise, and, he, yeah. and he'd, uh, uh, that's what I like about you, son. You're always up, and you. Don't get nothing with lying in bed, you know what I mean? That's why you get a pound note, you. Boom, boom, boom. And, he, you know, and then they, and then they go missing between, you know what I mean? But, we do, but you know, just using him as another one. But, they, but you know, like, you you know, you just, something come up and I see it and it yeah. starts bringing tears to your eye and I just think, oh, it's all sad. Now, now you, do you know what? You just triggered me something now because I'm yeah. going to phone Brendan now. Just to say hello. Because, yeah. you know, because Brendan was my pal as well and, or he's my pal, sorry, and yes. you know, let, let's not forget Brendan. I mean, I mean, you know, it, it triggers you on, doesn't it? Is yeah. it as a, yeah. You start brainstorming, you start thinking, oh, well, what about poor old Brendan? You know, Jenny and Courtney, yeah. and yeah, and uh, you know, and you know, and absolutely, I met all I met of them. them all again the other night. You know, a couple of weeks ago when they had that do it the blind beggar. Blind beggar, yeah, yeah. I see uh, Ricky English. I see a thing. He sent me a thing and whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think they, uh, yeah. And I was quite pleased because you know I was a bit concerned. There's a few things that they're putting on, and you sort of you sort of concerned that well, they ain't going to be there. I ain't going sort of yeah. things. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was so good. I'm, I'm quite pleased. That, 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that that is the last event. They had a party at the house as well, and I think that that was the end of it. But I, I met um, I met Stephen French there, which uh, uh, you know. Was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I did an interview with him last week, which is out okay. on, on the channel. So he's a charismatic bloke, blimey. I don't think, it, yeah. you know, Jason, you know, it's very weird because I've not been in this situation before where, you know, you talk to someone uh, and you, you can't get a word in edgeways. It's just an unreal situation for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was like with uh, Stephen French. It, it wasn't really an interview. It was like uh, him talking. Him having a chat. Yeah, him, him talking to me. Yeah, so but really, really interesting guy. Right, what else is going on? Uh, ah, yes, um, yeah, this is interesting. There's a, a a play opening in the West End. Uh, I don't know. Have, have you seen about this? Uh, this this play where they're going to have uh, black audience only nights. So if you're white, you cannot go. Oh, to it's that. mental, isn't it? <laughs> it's mental. And do you know what? Yeah. Look, the, the black powers that I've got. Yeah, we love. They would, they, they, even even they 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 would be saying this is outrageous. This is. Do you know what I mean? Because. You know, we've, we've been growing up together all our lives or wherever, or their powers of yeah, but they live in the real world, should I say. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, just like, you know, you, you can't say you're going to have an all-white one, can you? Imagine. Imagine if you had an all-white. <laughs> I mean... The... Well, I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart, my black powers would be saying, yeah. it's a little bit, oh, it would just go over their heads. they go, oh, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in it. Yeah. I've got certain blokes that I could put on here and they just go, I'm not interested in it. I think it's muggy, it's embarrassing. And by the way, it will be white people that, that are organising it all yeah, and yeah. thingy, and, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that. <laughs> I've, exactly. never, I don't, I've, I've, not, I've not heard of it. This is, it's, it's mental, isn't it? It's yeah, that'll be Where a, is it? a nice one. Where is it? In Lambeth. Is it in Lambeth? Or oh, Bruce it's or right, something? right in the West End. It's right, and yes, you've got certain nights that is black people only, and the other nights we're allowed in. You know, if you, we wanted to go, <laughs> so <laughs> they might think you're a skinhead, Liam. They could kick the kick the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you this: what really pissed me off last week? Really pissed me off. I got cool, a ticket, a ticket, a speeding ticket. Right, and this is London now. This is London. I drive into London because I like being in the car. I like my car. Right. But to go into London now, it's virtually impossible. Everything is 20 miles an hour now. It's 20 miles an hour. So that is really oh, yeah, no. difficult to drive at 20 miles an hour. So then I apparently went through a light one second, one second, because they write to you and say you went through a light one second late, 100 quid, 100 quid or going on a driving course. I mean, well, you got to go on a driving course, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, what, one one second, and then of course they say, oh, "Well, it could have made all the difference. You could have killed somebody in the one second, uh, and all this malarkey, you know." But uh, do you know what, Liam? I'm so yeah. honestly, mate. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm so glad I'm here. Listen, look, no, no, no one's saying it could be forever. I might, I might come back one day, whatever. Right, but at this present time, it's just outrageous, isn't it? Is yeah. it only London, Liam, or is it other? Uh, it's Jeez. a lot of other places, but but London, you've got a camera every hundred yards. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it it's like it's like yeah. a driving test until and, and, until there's two mobs stabbing each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. So the police can be after you for being one second behind, but you know you can stab some of the burglarized, rape the whole thing. They don't give a shit. You know, I mean, I, I find it, but I, it's so difficult. And and apparently, I was looking at it. They said they they've done two hundred sixteen thousand fines this year for travelling. Uh, for people going two miles an hour above the 20 miles an hour. I mean, do you that's... know what years ago, when, when it was a, let's say it was a 30 mile yeah. zone or whatever, I think you used to get a bit of grace, you know, like yes. three miles an hour or four miles an hour or whatever, I think. Yes. You know, if we was in Stuttgart and we was going to Düsseldorf and it was 1988, for argument's sake, with the European Championships and you're one second late with a train, you're missing the mob, mate, so you're missing the rail. So, I mean, I'm sorry, mate. I'm, I'm on their side. I'm like, no, yeah. I'm <laughs> It's my fault, folks. It's my fault. <laughs> dear, oh, dear. Right, it's we're gonna... mental, though, isn't it? Oh, I, I, I just think... And do you know what the other thing I thought about? It's so ugly. 
everywhere there's cameras, you know, there's so many signs everywhere and this, that, and the other. I do remember, and I don't want to be an old fart, but you could drive in, you could go and park, you know, quite well, easily. Uh, well, it's another thing that I'd done on my, on, on one of my socials, anyway, Liam, very quickly, and then it was like a, about the taxi drivers, like, because my yeah. old man was a sheriff, yeah, 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 the sheriff, right? And like, you know, nowadays, I think it takes you like three or four, maybe five years to pass the school knowledge because you've obviously got work, to, yeah. you know, and fit it in and what have you and thing. For them to be told, that you've got to have an electric cab. So then you've got to go and spend 70 grand on an electric cab, yeah. right? Then you can only go 20 miles an hour. Then they want you to work under this certain label or whatever in this era. They just, he, he just wants to get rid of, like, London history or, or history in full stop. I don't know. To just say London, but obviously London black cab, but it's just mental, isn't it? It's just like you, you just want to, you don't want your average man to go to work, do you? You, you, no. you just, just trying to make it hard for everyone. Yeah, and I mean? he'll be out. He'll be out riding in his car and this. And that. I cannot understand <laughs> who are the people voting for this bloke because you, you've got the election coming up in May, the the, the London election. Can't be, can't be. I mean, who's who's voting for this guy? I mean, it's beyond. If if you're a working person, self-employed, this, that, and the other, you cannot vote for this guy. It's as simple as that. So anyway. Okay. Moving over to my channel now. We're going to be all, have no moaning. It's all going to be fun and positivity. And oh, this... should we just do the moaning on my channel, yeah? <laughs> and we have the fun and laughter on yours. That's great, yeah. Because I did actually feel myself. I thought we've been like them. You know, remember them two old boys on the on the on the terrace and the muppets up on the, up on the balconies. <laughs> I think that's me and you up there. Yeah, the grumpy old men. It's just getting worse as we get older. Right, folks. See you in a moment. <laughs> 